I'm in uh, just east of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Um, I was rest area taking my break. Figured I'd make a interior and exterior video for you. And uh, I'm bored. Okay. Uh, let's see. Start off with my gauges. Over here you got got a uh, oil temperature, oil pressure, voltmeter, water, uh, speedometer tech, and uh, primary, secondary air, my fuel gauge, brake pressure gauge, front, rear, drive axle temperatures, uh, transmission temperature, air filter temp, or not temp, but a uh, restriction. Um, boost gauge, clock, suspension load gauge, and DEF tank. Got all these little buttons over here for my cab lights, sleeper, uh, engine fan, and of course dimmer switch and all that down there. Uh, got turn signals, windshield wiper, control, all that stuff. Um, on a gauge here, or on the front here, one thing I like about these new trucks is they got this little information center thing. If you can see that. I got a clock, show the RPM, uh, nation timer, trip, trip information. See, truck information, all that stuff. On the trip, when you're going down the road, it'll show uh, like your fuel economy and all that stuff. Uh, average speed. It says I'm getting 6.6, .6, but that's more. It's more like 5.9. Um, last time I filled up, even though I got an APU, but it's a brand new engine, not broke in yet, so fuel mileage ain't gonna be all that great. Uh, so far, I've gone 256 miles today, four and a half hours. Uh, only idled 0.3 hours. Um, ignition timer. Our trucks are set up. If you leave it idling for too long, I uh, believe it's like five or seven minutes, something like that. It'll start counting down 20 seconds, and then the truck will shut off. Uh, unless you got a, uh, or unless I hit the trailer brake, and it'll keep idling. But I got an APU, so I don't need to idle. Um, it's got a Cummins ISX, uh, go over to 65 miles an hour. Um, it's 450 horse. I'm not sure if it's on the door sill. It says 1800. I'm not sure if that's the torque or the engine RPM reading, as far as the uh, RPM governor. I'm not sure. Um, I'll tell you diagnostics or any codes found, I guess. Though nothing showed up a couple hours like last week when my uh, fuel pump went out. Nothing ever showed up, even though I had a check engine light. Here you can go in settings, all that stuff. I got the time set 24 hour, just easier. I usually just keep it on time, even though I got an analog clock over there. I like a digital, just quicker to see it. That's pretty much it. Uh, down here, you got my truck has a DPF, a DEF, and all that stuff. So I got a forced regen button um, if it ever gets clogged up. Uh, my strobe lights, four ways, engine brake control, cruise control, traction control. And then my three uh, buttons for sliding my fifth wheel, lowering the suspension, and locking the four-wheel drive. Mm. I like the cup holders right here. I got two of them. They're pretty deep. They're pretty hold everything pretty good. Got my iPod hooked in my CD player up there. I got a newer CD player. It's pretty nice. Um, came with it. Came with this little. I'm guessing it's an ashtray. But I like use it for my change and 
all that stuff. Uh, got awesome floor mats. I like name brand crap. <laughs> um, this little thing, it uh, monitors the air pressure in all my tires on my tractor. Uh, lets you know if one gets too low or something like that, but I still check them every other day just to make sure. Uh, let's see. Up here you got your lights and that's actually a speaker to my for my CB radio. Um, lets me hear it a lot better, that's for sure. Uh, stereo speakers, two little cubby holes. Um, my CB. It's actually a little tray that folds out and you put your CB in and then it uh, tucks it away pretty nice and makes everything look a lot cleaner. On my, on my CB, I've got one of the unit and bear cats. I like it just because I like being able to change the colors on it. I use blue at night, like green, cyan. But it's a pretty nice little CB radio. I got it on sale. Oh, let's see, I'm a sleeper. Not much you can see really because the light ain't all that great, but basic stuff, my bed, uh, cubby holes and storage, a bunch of crap up there. Um, got my uh, refrigerator down there, which is pretty nice. Got a lot of sandwich meat and all that stuff in it, cooler. I had that in my old truck, so I could keep cold drinks in my closet. Underneath my bed, I got a inverter. And I'm keeping my bottles of water and all that stuff down there right now. Uh, let's see. That's pretty much it for the interior. Uh, do the outside. Yeah, like up here. If y'all can see that, it has a 660, an engine model 1800-450, like I said, I'm not sure if that's the torque rating, 1800, but 450 horse, and either 1800 torque or 1800 RPM governed, a uh, 9 speed transmission, 342 gears, 40,000 pound rear axle, um, my weights and govern, or uh, gross weight. Rating. Show you the engine. Turn on this side, you got uh, of course turbo and everything's on this side. AC intake, um, air intake and air filter up on top. Pretty big engine, all painted red, nice, nice Cummins engine. Uh, let's see, windshield. An APU on my back, which that comes in handy because I got it running all the time usually. All my chains, tarps, stacks. I love having dual tires. I hated the super singles that were on my last truck. Uh, hauling pipes right now. Headed up to New Jersey. Uh, I got fuel filter, uh, windshield washer fluid, intake, all that good stuff. Basic diesel engine pretty much, nothing fancy.
rig out on these new trucks, you gotta release that little thing for the hood to go down. I just got this truck, I don't even have a license plate yet. Got a temporary tag in the truck, or a registration rather. Side steps, DEF tank, and sleeper. Back here, I got this little toolbox. I got a bunch of straps and stuff in. Uh, fuel tanks on each side, chains and everything on this side. That's pretty much it. The trailer I got hauling about. 43,000 pounds of pipes and uh, I got side boxes on each side my other one has more straps in it that's when I got all my cleaning stuff light kits uh, fifth wheel grease work gloves, fuel gloves cheater bar tow hooks and everything else there's a lot more storage and places to put things on this truck and my last truck that's pretty much it uh, anyway i'm gonna make a sandwich